Hello, it's Shari here, and today I am going to be showing you how I made this paint palette card. I thought this would be a fun way to use the stitched pond in a different way that wasn't a pond. When I was looking at it, trying to think of other ideas, I thought, hey, this looks like a paint palette. So I've cut it out of some craft cardstock, and then I'm going to add some texture to it by using the stitched wood grain backdrop. So that just cuts those stitching lines in there. Now I've got this oval that comes from the pop-up box die set, and it's actually perfectly sized to make my little thumb hole for my wooden paint palette here. Now to make it look a little more like wood and kind of make those details of the stitching stand out more, I'm just going to ink it up with some tea dye distress ink. I'm just going around the edges with my blending brush. And you can see how it gets in those stitching details and really makes them stand out even more. I think this is a great way to kind of kick up the die cuts a little bit to where they just stand out a little bit more. And then I'm going to go around the thumb hole area too just so that that edge is also inked and it all matches. So once I've got this looking the way I want with all my distress ink, I'm going to move on to the paint for the paint palette. So all those pattern papers I pulled out a few weeks ago to make those rainbow cards out of scraps, I still have all those scraps together in a little bag so that I can make some rainbows whenever I wanted to. And I thought these would be perfect for the paint on my palette. So instead of just straight cardstock, I thought that the patterns would be fun to add some interest to it as well. And I'm just freehand drawing some blobby shaped <laughs> shapes on these with pencil and I'm just going to cut them out with my scissors. So once I've got all these cut out I'm going to go over all of them with my eraser and make sure my pencil lines are gone because you know I didn't cut exactly on the pencil line. But I'm just going to clean them up a little bit. And then I'm going to lay them on here and place them where I want them. Make sure they're laid out, spaced evenly before I start to glue them down. So for instance, this orange one I felt was sticking out a little bit too much. So you can just trim it off and kind of adjust these shapes as you need to. Turn them around, space them out till they fit perfectly the way you want on your paint palette. So once I have those in place, I'm just going to use some liquid glue to adhere them down. Now I'm going to work on my paintbrush. So I'm going to use the die for this little leaf from Our Friendship Grows because I think it's the perfect size and shape for a paintbrush brush. And I'm going to cut that out of some chocolate bar cardstock which has a little bit of texture on one side and I'm going to use that texture side. Now I'm going to freehand draw the handle. So I'm drawing a line down the center so I kind of know where the center is. Then I'm just going to freehand draw a kind of curved line on each side of that. And that's going to be my guide to cut out the handle of my paintbrush. I decided to use rainforest cardstock for the handle of my paintbrush because it's dark, but it's still colorful, but not too colorful to take away from the rainbow paint splotches I have on my paint palette. And then once I get it cut out, I'm just going to go over it with my eraser and erase any pencil lines that you can still see. Now for the connection of the brush to the handle, I've just got a little piece of black glitter cardstock here. It's just cut straight and I'm gluing it down to the top of the handle. And then once it's glued down, I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to use the shape of my handle as the guide on how to cut the glitter cardstock. So I'm just going to cut it slightly larger in the handle there. You can see how you can see that from the back side really easy and now you have the same shape. And it also sticks up a little bit from the top of the handle and that's where I'm going to attach the brush. So you just need a dot of glue on the back to attach the brush to the handle. So now to work on the sentiment, I'm going to use the Big Hug sentiment that comes from the Big Scripty Word stamp set. I'm going to be embossing this on some black cardstock, so I've added some anti-static powder tool to it. I'm going to ink it up with some clear ink, and then I'm going to add some white embossing powder. So I'll just heat that up with my heat tool till it's all nice and melted. And then I actually like to go over dark cardstock like that with a damp chamois to get the powder off from the anti-static tool. This 
stamp set has coordinating dies, so I'm going to line that up and cut out the sentiment. And just look how cool that looks die cut like that. So I'm going to add some foam tape all over to the back of my palette here, not at the bottom of the thumb hole because you're going to see here I'm going to slip that paintbrush underneath there. And I'm going to mount it to a card base that's made out of some speckled eggshell cardstock. So I'm going to slide that paintbrush in through that hole. So that's why I left the foam off of the bottom there. And then I'm going to secure it with a little bit of liquid glue. So now that I have that in place, I'm just going to trim off the end of that paintbrush handle that's hanging off my card. Now before I add the sentiment to my paint palette, I want to embellish these paint splotches a little bit. So I'm putting glossy accents on each one, and I'm putting a really thick layer of glossy accents. I'm covering the whole piece of pattern paper. So when this dries, they'll look shiny like paint on a paint palette would look. So I'll set that aside to dry for a couple hours until it's completely dry and the glossy accents is clear. Then once it's dry, which you can see here I've let it sit for quite a while, I can add that sentiment and I'm just using some liquid glue to add that. And I'm actually kind of letting those swoops at the end kind of wrap around those paint blobs that I have there and I like how the G hangs over the thumb hole that I cut too. So finally, to add a couple of embellishments to these sort of blank corners up here, I've got some small die-cut hearts, so I'm just adding that to the background. And now my card is all finished. I thought that this was a clever way to use the stitch pond, doing something different than an actual pond, and I hope it encourages you to look at your dies in different and unique ways. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.